Hey everyone, this is Eric from the Die Badass Tour, and I'm excited to launch a new series today called Tidbit Tuesdays. I'm hoping to take hacks, tips, and other things I hear while traveling across the nation that improve the lives of type 1 diabetics. And first, what do you think of this makeshift studio? I am here in Santa Fe, New Mexico with my pen pal Kirsten, and we got connected through Beyond Type 1's snail mail program. So you should check that out if you want someone that understands this disease that you can write to and then potentially meet in person. Besides that, this specific episode is going to dive into SugarMates. It's an app that adds features to the Dexcom Continuous Glucose Monitor, and it's kind of dedicated to Shay, who I spent the last week with in Denver. Her and I both have the problem where we're not woken up from our alarms. Everyone, you know, a lot of people have the same kind of experience. So I'm hoping to show you the features that SugarMate has added to help address this and some other really cool things I think T1Ds will enjoy. So let's dive into the episode. Now the main reason to check out SugarMate is that if you're a deep sleeper like myself or Shay and you're not alerted, you're not woken up from Dexcom alerts, this is where SugarMate has a really cool feature that I'll show you in the future that can help solve this issue. But I think also, if you look at the Dexcom app, it actually is two and a half stars. There's a lot of things that the communities wanted that they haven't been able to push out fast enough. And that is where SugarMate has five stars. There's a lot of things you'll see in this app that you'll really, really enjoy and love. And so let's switch over to the app and launch SugarMate. And, and this is just the home screen, it's self-explanatory, but there's a few things I like about it. One, the average blood sugar here on the left side of the screen. Pretty cool, it's, you can change it. Um, let me also just launch this so you guys know where I'm actually pointing on the screen. And then right in the center, your last six hours, you can change this so it can be last three hours. And it just gives you kind of a quick glance of like, here's how things are going. And then below here, the activity screen. What's cool? So unfortunately, it's manual, which some people are fine with that. I, I tend to struggle with it. But if you're eating a food and you're not quite sure, right, you can type in a picture and stuff like that. But if you're like, oh, man, what are in these Thin Mints? You can check that out. And look at this. It's so cool. It pops up. And you can say, wow, okay, here's the nutrition facts for a serving, which is so useful. And you can log that because... Obviously, we you know only had one serving of Thin Mints, not more. <laughs> and there, it pops up on your graph, and you can see how that will impact your blood sugars going forward. And you can do stuff like long-acting insulin, short-acting insulin, and you took you know whatever for lunch. You took six units. It'll pop up right there. But I think really what I wanted to highlight for this app is this is what's cool is the alerts. So one. Right here, you have the normal predictive high, predictive low, but down here, this get a phone call. How crazy is that? So cool. So you can turn it on. And then I'll try to probably block out my number. But setting it up is super easy. And I actually won't hit test because I know it'll cancel out um, from the screen recording, but it'll give you a phone call saying, hey, this is Sugar Mate, and Eric's blood sugar is currently 50. And that could wake yourself up. It could be for a loved one. It could be to a loved one. So if you're a mom and your kid's blood sugar is low, you could get a phone call and you're woken up. Um, and that's just so insanely useful and helpful. And then going over here, another awesome thing is a text message if you have an urgent low. So we'll test this out so you can see that actually works. But if my blood sugar was 50. I could send a message, say, to my roommate, and it could be like, Eric's low, here is where his location is. My blood sugar happens to be 109 right now. But I can tell you that traveling around and hearing lots of stories, that I've heard people who go low pass out and people can't find them, and this app can solve that issue. And I don't really want to dive into the other features because they're just very normal for continuous glucose monitors, so here's the range and stuff like that. But this is also what's cool is these other platforms. So you have the Apple Watch interface, which is nice. But what's cool is I haven't really seen people use the OS X. So this is saying on top of your Mac, you can have your blood sugar display, which is really cool. And then for people who have Alexas, I wish I had an Alexa in my home, but I could say, hey, what's my current blood sugar while I'm cooking away? And Alexa will read it back to you. That's so awesome. Um, and that's all that really, like, that's the full app that I think is just cool having the phone calls, the text messages. And Shay, I, I hope you check this out and you're like, so when I was staying with her, her dad would get alerts as well through the Dexcom follow. 
And she wouldn't wake up, but now Shay can get phone calls to her own phone and hopefully get woken up with that message. And I think that is why I'm excited about Sugar Maids and why people should check it out. So let me know what you think. Here are some other testimonies as I'm talking from Facebook groups and on the app of people who just rave and love it. Diabetics, type 1 diabetics, we love redundancy. So this is, you can get your Dexcom alerts and a phone call and a text message. But I think it's cool what Sugar Maid has done. They provided it for free, and it's obviously designed by someone who is a type 1 diabetic that's having these issues. So if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe. Leave a comment below if you have any questions, and let me know what you want me to cover in next little tidbit Tuesday. So there's lots of things I'm always discovering, and I look forward to sharing it with all of you guys. So thank you for watching, and peace out.